Hi everyone, thanks so much for stopping by. So today I will be doing a book review and this is entitled Untouchable. This is the um, book seven from Immortals After Dark series that is um, out of 18 books written by Cressy Cole. In this paranormal story from the Deep Kiss of Winter anthology, New York Times best-selling best -selling author Cressy Cole delivers a breathtaking tale about a brutal vampire soldier who experiences love for the first time and a Valkyrie aching to be touched. Murdoch Roth will stop at nothing to claim Daniela, the Ice Maiden, the delicate Valkyrie who will make his heart beat for the first time in 300 years. Yet the exquisite Dan Danny is part Ice Fae and her freezing skin can be touched can't be touched by anyone but her own kind without inflicting pain beyond measure. Soon desperate for closeness in an agony of frustration, Murdoch and Danny will do anything to have each other. Together, can they find the key that will finally allow them to slake the overwhelming desire burning between them? So the genres belong to be paranormal, paranormal romance, romance, fantasy, vampires, adult, urban fantasy, fiction, fae, demons. This was first published back in September 3, 2013. Um... So, um, the tale for this one is that there's actually a big mystery in there, um, in regards to how they can actually become a couple in different levels. Um, you get to, you get to see a different world, which is Danny's world. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give too much information on that. Um, so it was, it was, it was quite interesting and it was very, for me, very fun because it's very fairy tale like, and it was very interesting. Um, this was definitely a a interesting and fun read as well. Um, just so you know, the Immortals After Dark, um, they can be graphic um, in regards to romance and certain things in that pertaining to that genre itself. So if you are um, interested in that kind of romance this is definitely a series to try i would also suggest to to please read from the book one before you read this one just so there's certain things that might be like a, somewhat like a little spoiler from here from time to time so just do that um i would give this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars and a two thumbs up i really did enjoy this book and um I, I'm just worried that I'm going to say certain things that will be a um, a spoiler. So I'm trying my very, very best to not do that. Um, before I forget, I hope you hit the like button because if anybody's interested in looking for my review or any kind of review for this particular book or the series, it, it will pop up much quicker. Also, I hope that you enjoyed my video. You're going to hit... Um, not just the like, but the subscribe as well. And of course, expand the description section to see where you can get this as well as to connect with me and my other social media accounts, including Goodreads, because I like to connect with everybody there, fellow readers. Um, anything else, I always ha try to have a coupon code for anything that I can find in the description section. So always do check that out. Anything else, if you want to chit chat about this particular series, or this particular book or anything that is book related, let me know down in the comment section below. I love hearing from everybody all the time. If there's anything else that I probably forgot aside from uh, sharing but not too much, I did enjoy this book. It is, um, there's some kind of mystery, a little bit of suspense. Um, there, I always feel like Krusty Cole's Immortals After Dark is very fast paced and this does not disappoint. It's also very fast paced. So, um, but it's fast paced but not overly whelming. So, just so you know, um, overly whelming, I don't even know if that's a word, overwhelming. So, just so you know, it's, it's a very, very enjoyable, fun, fast paced read. And that's all I really want to say because I just feel like if I say anything else that is more specific, there would definitely be a spoiler. And I really hate doing that with you guys or anybody, actually. I really don't like to do that. Thank you, everyone, for the love and support. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your love and um, uh, those kind, beautiful words. Thank you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you again next time. Bye.